I really feel that life has connected for me again. I got introduced to this Pons treatment and I feel like a whole new person. I always use the words of goer, doer, be there. So my world of going and doing abruptly came to a stop at that stop sign, that stoplight. I didn't know when I stopped how hard this journey was going to be. It was my head that got the bang. I had been rear-ended by a garbage truck. Everything, my walk, my ability was gone. Following Beth's accident, she couldn't get around to well, she would, uh, we would go to a car show and people coming at her would uh, bother her and she basically had to go back to the car because she just couldn't handle it. They told me I was definitely concussion symptoms. I, in the meantime, was waiting to get into the Sharon Trauma Center and that took a while because I had to go for assessments. In all the meantime, I was doing appointments appointments, appointments with insurance companies. Not a happy place to be in because my world did just consist of me. I heard about the accident um, through Dave, her husband. It just devastated me. It was so shocking, so disheartening. She wasn't coming out to church. She couldn't drive herself. She uh, couldn't garden and that she loved that. It was a, a Beth I didn't know. So when I went to see Dr. Scott, one of the questions he asked me, he says, are you in it for the long haul? Is there anything that'll set you back from not being able to do this? And I said, absolutely, I'm in it. And my husband's not one to be very, um, what shall I say, verbal about some things. But when I got down to the clinic, and opened up my bag, there was a note there and said, you will do this. And I did, and I am, and I'm so happy I did. But it hasn't been easy. I tell you, it was hard work, very hard work. It was excruciating to my head, that pain tolerance. But again, I was in it for the long haul, so I did it. So working with Beth Foster has been a great experience for me. One of my first uh, MTBI patients, she came to us five years post car accident and was really struggling to function in her daily life. Uh, she mentioned to me a number of things that were a struggle for her, uh, but you know, primarily uh, what our device works with is the balancing gait. And she was struggling, you know, walking with her friends, participating in her life, going to church was a big, and volunteering at the church was a big part of what she does. And uh, and she struggled with that. Uh, you know, getting to and from places not only was it difficult but exhausting as well. It wore her out. And so, uh, you know, the the mental challenge that goes along with fighting to keep your your balance and and walk properly properly uh, is, is extremely tiring and so it was wonderful to be able to get with, working with her and within a few days um, you know things were changing. Some other things he did with me was to stand and just stand there feet together side by side and stand motionless and try to keep my balance and you know I was moving around moving around trying to stay still every day he added a little bit more, a little bit more of a challenge, feet in front of the other, um, till I was doing it, and more on the treadmill. I went down the hallway into Dr. Scott's, the room that's set up to do this treatment, and I told him, I said, you know, things are different today. And he goes, in what way? I said, I just feel so much better. It's like something has lifted from me. I can walk better. I feel lighter. It's not this pressure coming over on me that everything I'm doing is under this with my whole being and I'm carrying this weight. It's gone. From that moment, getting on the treadmill, he started to speed it up. I was starting to do the gait better. It, it just got to be, okay, this isn't a challenge anymore. So he would up it to okay, let's do something with your eyes closed or turn your head, you turn your head and do this. And it wasn't right away, but I got so eventually I could. 
I think one of the most meaningful things that she said to me was working with or, or playing with her granddaughter was really challenging. You know, couldn't couldn't really participate in the life of her grandchild. And within days of starting our de with our device, the Pons device, she was back. Uh, playing with her granddaughter and, and enjoying life in that way. And as we've gone on through the 14-week program, she's continued to get better and, and really restored to a completely normal life. You know, just giving reports back to Dr. Scott on the progression and how I can now, you know, go outside, I can get ready for fall, I'm going to be digging in the dirt and digging up some plants because they've, you know, a little messy over the summer but I'm happy to do it and I can do it. It's not endearment anymore, it's enjoyment. I love the difference in those two words. So before my mom's accident she could hardly do any baking, she could hardly go out, she wouldn't go to church. I used to go to these concerts with my dad and she couldn't come because she just couldn't handle it and now after all the treatment she's able to go out, she's able to cook and just got her life back. It's great. It's just a total different life again. And I want to say you get used to that life, but it's not a life. So now with this Pons treatment, I, I definitely am just moving ahead. There's nothing going to stop me, which is exciting. So now she can drive. We go out to a restaurant, go to a concert, whatever. And uh, she's back. I'm at 13 weeks and I can't believe what I'm doing. Like 14 weeks is the treatment. It hasn't been an easy go every day to be persistent with that little loop of a Pons device around my neck and I call it the Ponsicle in my mouth because it's been my friend and my gateway to a key to open up what was so locked for so long and I am so glad to be free of that and I have it all to come back to this Pons treatment. It's the only treatment where I found relief. It's not just a band-aid, it's worked for me. It's, it's just the difference of not living and living again. Many things have changed. I've had a lot of losses but I'm learning to pick up a whole new, um, it's an ability to carry on in a different way for the better. And uh, thank you, Pons. Thank you, Pons.